Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about specs of the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Would you upgrade from Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra? Let's find out. Okay guys, as you all know, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is being released by Samsung. But before you go any further, check out those new cases that are all available from Amazon. It's a great selection of cases. For example, the new Zwell Cake case. This one has a nice um, look to it and it has a great variety of colors. Um, the button, you can change them. And also there is the Renmu Crystal Clear. This one works with a wireless chargers and also it has a great drop protection, very elegant case. So they are all available from Amazon. So check the link down below for more details. You're going to get all this nice selection of cases. So go grab yours while you are waiting for your new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And also this one, the carbon fiber, very elegant, good looking case and nice cutout. And this one is available from Amazon as well. So check it out. So this new device comes with one UI 5.1 and Android 13 right out of the box. So it's a great upgrade and also the camera was upgraded and also it comes with a Snapdragon Gen 2. So there is a slight improvement. So is it worth it to upgrade from Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra? Let's find out. So Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra already has one UI 5.0 and Android 13 and it has a great camera. It has 100 megapixel and also a nice animation when it comes to the UI. And I'm sure uh, it's gonna get upgraded to one UI 5.1 down the road. And also it has a great animation. And as you can see, it has a nice weather application. The device is nice and smooth and it gets upgraded every year, every time Samsung come out with a new UI. So is it worth it to upgrade? There's something to think about it. Um, drop me a comment down below and let me know. But I know that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is slightly different from Samsung S22 Ultra. It has a nice cutout and it's a little bit flatter on the sides. But that will make me. this will make me upgrade uh, to the device. I'm not too sure. So I'm going to play with my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra for a while. And then also until I see the full specs of the samsung galaxy s23 ultra and then i take it from there but so far i'm very very satisfied with um, my samsung galaxy s22 ultra it's been working fine with me and also it looks like a new phone every 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 day because i can change the wallpapers the theme and icons and you name it and it is very easy to use very intuitive and i'm sure the samsung galaxy s23 ultra will do the same but how much different will it be so that device can be a little bit faster and also um, better camera because um, the Samsung, the new flagship comes with 200 megapixel, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra comes with 100 megapixel. Is that going to make a difference? I don't know. I'm not a photographer, but I'm very satisfied with what I have. And also when you come to the processor, the new device will be slightly faster. So if you play video game, so you may notice a difference. If not, if you don't play any video game, you might not see any difference. But me, I only browse the web and use my device to edit my videos and stuff like that. So, so far, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade. But right now, I'm just going to use my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra for now until further notice, until I see a big difference um, between the two devices. And as you can see, it has a nice wallpaper. The UI is amazing. When UI 5.0, it works well with me. And you can change your wallpaper, your lock screen, and everything is customizable. So this is One UI 5.0. So is the One UI 5.3, 5.1 gonna make any difference? We will find out when the device comes out. So right now it's coming out on February 1st, which is tomorrow. And uh, from that, we gonna see um, which device looks better and also performs better. But I'm sure that the new device is gonna do slightly better than Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. But it doesn't make me jump right on it to upgrade. So I'm gonna have to wait a while to see what people say about it and check out all the unboxing and you know all those details. So the when UI 5.0 will bring improved stack apps and also family sharing albums in the gallery app. 
and easy access to expert raw camera application and better AR emoji as I mentioned and also collaboration and improvement of multi-device control and also small improvement to Samsung DeX. So as you notice, the One UI 5.0 is highly customizable. You can add stack widget as you notice here. It's very simple. When you go to widget, you can just select the stack widget. And on the stack widget, you can add multiple widget in one widget. So all you have to do is just long press on the widget and add widget. And from here, you can select the one you want. And you can add as many as you want. And it is very, very easy to use, very intuitive. And um, it's just simple. So all you have to do is just go to add and select the widget you're looking for. For example, let's go to weather. We're going to select the weather widget and they have different uh, format, different size. And when you click, click on add, it's going to ask you your location and then you add it on your stack widget. And as you can see here, it is you can add as many as you want and you can scroll left and right um, to select the widget that you want to show on your screen. And what I like the most on this One UI 5.0 on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is the call background. From here, you can select an animated call background and also you can select your own sound and you can select a specific call background from specific number. For example, your daughter, your son or your wife, whatever, whoever, close friend, you can select a nice call background. And also they have nice um selection of call background you can select or you can use your own video as a call background for example this one is very nice when you select this one it is just amazing nicely animated so let me go call myself and you are gonna see the difference So that was very nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my own call background from a video. This is my introduction of my channel. And as you can see, when I call myself, you're going to see the nice animation, my video. It can be any video, your friend's video, your son, your dog, whatever video you want to use as a call background. So when you call, somebody call you, this is what is going to show. And the camera looks amazing. We don't know yet how the camera is going to look like on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with 200 megapixel. But this one on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, it is it has 100 megapixel and the camera, it is really, really amazing. You can zoom it 100 times. And also the video footage is unbelievable. So this device has been doing good for me. And as you can see, this is the video when I'm filming right now. And you're going to see that it is crystal clear and you can film on 4K and whatever format you like. And when we come to gallery, there is a common family album. So you can share your album with your family, family members or friends. And you can get up to five gigabyte of storage per family member, up to six people. And when we come to taking photos, the new UI will process your photo automatically and remove shadows, reflections to make your photos look great. With a new device, you can also get 5 gigabyte of storage per family member, up to 6 people. So I think it's a great deal with the new device that's coming up. But again, do you need that? That's a big question mark. When we come to the AR zone and AR emoji, you can use three emojis in AR emoji camera and also the layout and editing improvement in AR doodles. And also the widgets, uh, the new battery widget has been changed on the One UI 5.1 and also very intuitive weather widgets. And the new flagship will come with new wallpapers right out of the box. And also the connectivity has been improved on the One UI 5.1, collaboration in Samsung Notes and also um, inviting to share apps has been made so easy now you can easily invite people and share albums, notes, calendar using a link that can be shared across apps and also messengers. And uh, advanced multi-control between Galaxy Book and smartphone and media outlet to Wi-Fi and much more. So let's wait and see when the new application, uh, the new One UI 5.1 comes on. And also, guys, when you go to um, the Internet, the search has been improved. Now you can search by folder name in bookmark 
or by group name in tab. So guys, in conclusion, few weeks after launch of the Samsung Galaxy S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra, Samsung could bring one UI 5.1 to most smartphones running Android 13 based One UI 5.0 software. So guys, this is it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And also give me tons of likes. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.